So we got that. And we got... What is wrong with you, huh? I'm so sorry. Are you... Oh, I've got no time for this. I couldn't see you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't see you. I couldn't see you. Thanks for that. Oh, wait a minute. This is I not... Oh, stuff. sorry. This is mine. I think this is mine. That collision this morning, whew, that was a close call. Well, I mean, luckily nothing serious happened. I mean, my colleague, of course, he's a bit angry. He's annoyed. I got to calm him down a bit. But hey, if you're watching, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't see you coming around the corner. But my guests today say they can do just that. So please welcome Georg Fancon and Rob G. Guys? Hey guys, where are you? I'm coming. I'll be right there. I brought the boxes, Rob, and the panda as well. Why the panda? Well, he is uh, my pedestrian. Stop, stop, stop. I think we're about to run into each other. Why don't you go ahead? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead. Whew, that was a close call. Almost repeated what I did this morning. That's nearly a disaster, guys. Well, except it wasn't, especially at the time where we both were distracted by this little guy right here. Well, by communicating and collaborating, we're able to detect the dangerous situation and to avoid this. And this is just what V2X is doing. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But maybe you can tell us, what does V2X stand for? Well, Chris, V2X is the capability for vehicles to communicate with other vehicles and with other things on the road, such as pedestrians, mm -hmm. especially when things like the camera, radar, and LIDAR don't detect those other objects. Exactly like we had it here. So our view was blocked due to the big packages and as well due to the wall. So what V2X is doing now is really eliminating this wall just right here. Why did you uh, show up as a, as a tag team? Collaboration is important for safety. There are several technologies to realize just the, what we explained. I am working on a Wi-Fi based solution. Mm -hmm. So it's called DSRC mm -hmm. and uh, Rob is working on a solution based on the cellular communications, what you have in your mobile phone. So wouldn't one technology be enough though? Well, you have to consider that different regions and different automotive manufacturers may choose one or the other technology. So besides avoiding a collision, what else can V2X actually do? Well, it can do platooning. You see here are three little trucks. Mm -hmm. And in a normal way, they are driving a little bit more distance, a little bit less distance. And the problem or one of the biggest issues here is we have all the wind coming in front of the car. Mm -hmm. So the wind is coming here, we have a lot of air in between and again here. Right. So much of the fuel is pure and is going away. So what we can do with V2X now is to have one big platoon and we have all the air coming here like a big stream to save fuel for all those vehicles and also for the first truck in a row. Okay. Well, let's illustrate this. Chris, why don't you take this glass? All right. And we will pretend to be a caravan of vehicles. So, come on, let's go along. All right. Imagine that we're moving along the road, and as long as the vehicles keep on moving, everything works well. Mm -hmm. But if one vehicle suddenly stops, oh. then we run into the problem where a collision could occur. Can we please not do this with drinks? <laughs> well, come on, come on, Chris. Let's do this again. <sighs> now with V2X. Now let's imagine that we have V2X. So now again, we're a platoon of vehicles driving along. And as we're moving along, if anything unexpected happens, stop, stop right now. Then all of the vehicles know what's going on and can avoid that dangerous situation. And this way the drink lands on my mouth and not on my hand, right? And the thing to keep in mind, Chris, is that with platooning, it's important that these vehicles be as close together as possible in order to maximize that fuel efficiency. But this also, of course, increases the risk of a collision. So this is when we need to have V2X, vehicle to vehicle direct communication, in order to make sure that all the vehicles can stay safe. And as you noticed, even improving comfort at the same time. That applies to my drink, for sure. <laughs> but when you're talking about everything, I mean, we've been talking about trucks, vehicles so far. So where's the everything? The vehicle to everything means everything. For example, pedestrians bicycles, but also smart cities. Smart cities? What, what are smart cities? Well, a smart intersection, for example, where, where you have an intersection and, for example, the camera can see all traffic participants and sends out messages so the intersection is as well connected. So it's not only vehicle to everything, but as well everything to the vehicle. And keep in mind, the devices that we carry with us on a daily basis here 
we're also looking at ways to link these things in with the V2X ecosystem. And by doing so, we basically make it safer for pedestrians and cyclists as well. So now I know what you mean when you talk about no compromises and vehicle to everything, right? That's right. And this is our goal for the Vision Zero. So a world without any accidents. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. And cheers to you and V2X. But before you leave, gentlemen, there's one more thing we have to do. We need to take a selfie. Of course. And of course, our little friend here needs to be on the picture. Cheese! I learned a lot today. Thank you very much. I hope you did also. And be sure to tune in again next time for the next episode of The Garage. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.